Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Two of our favorite music industries that we've checked out on the Feature Friday podcast are the Moroccan music industry right. and the Indian music industry. Yeah. And this is both of them coming together. That is surreal. Music knows no boundaries, ladies and gentlemen. This That's is right. Sadlam Jared, which is a Moroccan, very damn he popular singer. He is so popular. And Shreya Goshal, who very damn popular no. Indian singer. And they're going to, there's like featuring as well Jennifer Winget, who I'm not familiar with, and Anshul Garg. It's a big collab. Everyone's been talking about it. It happened a few days ago. Let's give it a watch. Okay. I hope this doesn't get blocked. Oh, that's the producer. Once upon a time, Once in upon the time. of Awanta, <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a blue island. <laughs> Jennifer, who was renowned throughout the land for her unmatched beauty. Okay. However, she was trapped in a life she did not choose. Her father, the king, had arranged that's AI her to art. marry the prince Looks of like the it. neighboring kingdom in order to strengthen the alliance between the two nations. But the princess was in love with Saad, a commoner who huh, lived Saad. beyond the castle walls. As the night of the wedding drew near, Jennifer sat in her chambers, waiting anxiously for Saad to come and rescue her from the palace. Nice. Also, huge shout out to them for putting English captions. Oh, yeah. Can I just say this Good is... Good world music, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely adore that in 39 seconds, we were introduced to a whole new lore yeah, yeah. that you ha were not prepared for. I love that. Coolie matter. Fabulous. Fabulous. Ooh, Straight away with the Arab logos. influences. The actress. That is so sick. Well, Moroccan music and Indian music go immensely well ten, together, ten, like ten, especially ten. female Indian vocals I with also, Moroccan percussion. I must say, though, Moroccan music in French. Oh, bang! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is. I feel like I'm watching an Assassin's Creed like yeah. uh, trailer, live action. <laughs> you see, you see the interesting the vocals, quirks, though. though. Yeah, that, that is such a cool influence to integrate into this. Again, I just think Shreya is such a versatile singer that she, True. I think, given the fact that she has experimented with so many different colors and influences in India alone, because yep. the, con the 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 country is as big as a continent, basically, yep. it's so it's many kind different of, languages, and there's so many. Uh, uh, um, specific original sounds in India that she has been able to adapt to and 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 apply in different songs I feel like in this particular track you're hearing a lot of that versatility really apply itself in the song yeah especially when you work with someone like sad because sad is to me basically a commercial god uh-huh Everything that man touches turns to gold. Correct. You know, everything does really well. And he's really figured out that sort of formula of what's really appealing not only to the Moroccan market, to the African market, to the French market, but also but to the worldwide yeah. market. Mm -hmm. I actually feel like if any genre has the ability from, from Africa uh, to do the same that Nigerian Afrobeats has done, it's, it's like Moroccan, Moroccan music, music um, Algerian music as well. And it does very well in Europe regardless, but... You don't really hear it that often in the US, South America, and the UK, mm -hmm. but you do hear it all over the world. Um, yeah. It has the same potential, especially because of the rhythmic section and the ease of listening that it provides. I if you mix it with complex vocals, like from you know Indian uh, uh, music, it really creates this like amazing juxtaposition of complexity with simplicity and creates a very smooth and uh, rich listening experience. Correct, I agree. I'm here, baby. That is such a great color combo. Those Arabic sounds gorgeous.
You have been rescued, princess. It's also like a Bollywood approach to the video. It isn't? is, it is. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Put your what? headphones on, people, and listen to this. Great vocal layers there. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Oh, and more. That is fabulous, fabulous. Oh, that's nice. And then they brought in the flute, which I don't know what it is. I'm trying. I always say it's a banzuri, but it probably is. At this point <laughs> as well, I might as well just say flute because I'm, I'm gonna get the instrument wrong. Um, yeah, but such again, there's there's beauty between these two color vocals, right? So he is very fresh and very approachable in terms of like a popular pop music, right? So his sound is quite recognizable. You know what you're getting from his vocals, but paired up, especially after a uh, Shreya verse that is highlighting all of the beautiful dynamics that he naturally possesses. So when you have them together in that layer section between uh, after that chorus, you're really like playing with different uh, textures, with with different uh, subtext. And I, I, like, I yeah, like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Because rhythmically, it's quite smooth. Yep. Rhythmically, it's quite smooth. It's not very in your face. It's not very explosive. So the vocals are providing all of that layered work. Correct, correct. The nuances through the vocal layering. Yes, yes. The nuance of the story. Oh, beautiful, it's just beautiful. Great. Nice. <laughs> this is so good. I'm not gonna like taken away by it all. You can tell he really loves being in his own videos. Like he really enjoys being part of the set. And well, he has built the world itself. Who better to personify than him? The lens flares? They're so cool! Oh, fuck. Oh, it's just the magic and the layering and... There's so much happening not in the forefront. Correct, correct. But in the nuance of the song. You know what? I am so bad, like I'm so driven by the musicality that the music video has kind of like yeah, baby, there's one thing, but become part of the background. I wanted to tell you. Since the very first day I saw you. I love you. Damn, that's... It is like AR, isn't it? Jennifer and Saad fled the kingdom together, leaving behind the life that had been planned for them. They knew that they would face many challenges ahead, but as long as they had each other, they were ready to face whatever came their way. Nice! Where's oh, nice. part two? What a nice story! <laughs> <laughs> Where's part two? Yeah, what a nice story! Setting the new kingdom, you know? Bro, that... So great! It's so good. But that's the magic of, like, uh, sad, literally. That mm -hmm. is him making everything so damn rhythmical. What's that song he's got with uh, this Portuguese artist? Oh, yes, uh, Kalema! Yes. This song bangs, bro. When well, I tell has... you, if you've never heard this, I know he's, like, two years old, but... It would change your life. Oh, it's such a great song. Yeah. Also, let's talk about the 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 fact that the music video was so well done. It, yeah. Again, it's a cinematic experience. You're really it, it, being introduced to a, a storyline and a characters and a, a character development and there's conflict and I love that. It all happens in like three minutes. It's great. But the song has so much 
depth in yep. terms of the musicality and like the layered work in terms of production that the music video kind of played in the background for me because I was so taken away by the musical complexity. And I, I love that. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually, it's a song that does a, a lot of things correct and it it's a good example of, you can make a very heavily commercial song and a song that can do very well. I mean, it has like over 100 million views and probably double that on streams. So you can so do cool. something very highly commercial yet still maintain musical nuances, still maintain musical complexity, still not have to play too much into the structural formulaic aspect of music that's happening nowadays yeah, you and you can connect the world through it yeah you don't have to sacrifice musicality in order to make a popular track and i think this is the a, a baseline pinnacle example of it and those are our two cents what a song <laughs>